Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are discussing some important questions which may help you for your interviews and also for your exams. Interviewers may ask procedural and technical questions to ensure your knowledge and skills. So the laboratory technician should be prepared well before an interview. Question number one, aim of order of blood draw. Order of blood draw is implemented to avoid the risk of contamination of different blood samples with additives. Simply to avoid additive carryover. Question number two. Order of blood draw. To avoid additive carryover, blood sample should be collected in a specific order. First, you have to collect yellow tube for blood culture bottles, then light blue for coagulation studies, red tube that is non additive, no anticoagulant is there in red tube. Next is gold top tube. That is serum separated tube, green tube of heparin, lavender tube, EDTA, grey tube, fluorid oxalate mixture for sugar estimation. Question number 3. Vacutainers. Different vacutainers and their color codes. Red top, no additive, gold top, gel tube, light green, lithium heparin, light blue, Sodium citrate, light grey, fluoride oxalate, yellow top, citrate, yellow tube with black top, broth mixture. Next, black top, sodium citrate, lavender, EDTA, dark green, sodium heparin, dark blue, Disodium EDTA, Pink Top, Dipotassium EDTA, Pearl White Top, EDTA plus Polyester Material, Orange Top, Thrombin, Light Brown Top, Sodium EDTA. As a lab technician, you should know order of blood draw and the color codes of vacutainers. It is very important in oral interviews and for practical tests. So you have to learn it well. Question number 4. Sources of error of blood smear preparation. Smear preparation errors will affect the quality of the smear. First one, irregular spread with ridges. It is due to dirty spread slide. Next, holes in blood film. It is due to contamination. Contamination may cause holes in blood film. Third one. Too short or too thick smear. This is due to incorrect angle with glass slide and spreader. Angle should be 30 to 45 degree. Fourth, smear extending to end due to large blood drop. There should be clear margin of 1 cm from end. If large blood drop is added, smear extend to end. Fifth one, short and thin smear. It is due to too small blood drop. If blood drop is too small, smear will be too thin. Sixth one, smear extending to edges due to spread of increased width. Question number five, plasma coagulation factors. We know that there are 13 coagulation factors. First one, fibrinogen. Second one, prothrombin. Third one, tissue thromboplastin. Fourth one, calcium. Fifth one, Pro-axillarin or labile factor. Sixth one, does not exist. Seventh one, pro-convertin. Eighth one, anti-hemophilic factor A. Ninth one, anti-hemophilic factor B. Tenth, stuart prover factor. Eleventh, anti-hemophilic factor C or plasma thromboplastin antecedent. Twelfth, Hageman factor. And thirteenth, fibrin stabilizing factor. Question number six. DNA viruses. Pox viride, herpes viride, adeno viride, papova viride, hepadeno viride, parvo viride. These viruses are DNA viruses. The viruses coming under pox viride family are variola, vaccinia, cowpox and monkeypox. Then viruses comes under herpes viride family are HSV that is herpes simplex virus, 
EBV that is Epstein Barr virus, CMV that is cytomegalovirus and varicella zoster. Next adenoviridae family. Adenovirus comes under family adenoviridae. Then papova viridae family. Papilloma virus and polioma virus comes under family papova viridae. Then hepadenoviridae. Hepatitis B virus comes under hepadenoviridae family. Then parvovirus comes under family parvoviridae. And parvovirus is the smallest virus. Next question number 7. RNA virus. Picurna virus. Rayo virus. Toga virus. Corona virus. Orthomyxovirus. Rhabdovirus. Paramyxovirus. These are RNA viruses. And they are again classified into many viruses. Picurna virus. Viruses which are classified under picorna viruses are enterovirus, rhinovirus, hepatovirus and paracovirus. The first one is enterovirus, not enterovirus. There is a spelling mistake. Please note that. Next, enterovirus, poliovirus, coxagivirus, echovirus and new enterovirus are coming under enterovirus. The classification is little tough so you have to study well. Question number 8. Microanatomical fixatives. First one, formal saline. Second one, formal calcium. Third one, buffered neutral formalin. Fourth one, Zenger's fluid. Six, fifth one, Boyne's fluid. Question number 8. Simple histopathology fixative. There are three. That is formaldehyde, glutaraldehyde and ethyl alcohol. Then acid fast parasites. First one, exans colex of tinea saginata, oozes of isospora belli, cyclospora and cryptosporidium parvum. Then hooklets of hydatid cyst. Last one, spore of microsporidium. Question number 10. Torch panel is toxoplasma, rubella, cytomegalovirus and herpes. Torch panel include these four viruses. Question number 11. MCV, mean cell volume. PCV into 10 by RBC. Normal value 80 to 96 femtoliters. Question number 12. MCH, that is mean corpuscular hemoglobin. HB into 10 by RBC count. Normal value is 27 to 32 picograms. Next MCHC, mean cell hemoglobin concentration. MCH by MCV or HB into 100 by PCV. Normal value 30 to 38 percentage. Question number 14, color index. It can be calculated by HB by RBC. Normal value is 0 0.85 to 1.15. Question number 15, red cell inclusion bodies, basophilic stippling, dark blue granules, Howell jolly bodies, purple granules, Heinz bodies, oxidized denatured hemoglobin, cidrocyte, blue purple granules, tomatocyte, red cell with a slit, nisocyte, cells with two concavity, dacrocyte, teardrop cell, blister cell, hemi ghost cell, bite cell, Heinz body ribbled out, xerocyte, semi dark semi light cell, Half moon body is curved RBC. Quest number 15. Test for Benz Jones protein. Bradshaw's, Osgood and Hoskins and electrophoresis. Quest number 16. Gauge size and color code of blood collection. 16 is white, 18 is pink, 19 is cream, 20 is yellow, 21 is green, 22 is black, 23 is blue, 24 is purple, 25 is orange. Then 26 is brown, 27 is grey and 29 is red. You can make codes to study it well. 
otherwise it is tough. Question number 17. Lifespan of blood cell. RBC 120 days. WBC 13 to 21 days. Platelets 7 to 10 days. Neutrophils 2 to 5 days. Eosinophil 7 to 12 days. Basophils 12 to 15 days. Monocytes 2 to 5 days. Lymphocytes half to 1 day. Question number 18. Shapes of viruses. Rabies virus is bullet shaped. Ebola is filamentous. Adenovirus is space vehicle like. Pox virus is brick like. Tobacco mosaic virus is uh, not red. It is road. Road shaped virus. Question number 19. Blotting techniques. Southern blotting is for DNA. Northern blotting is for RNA. And western blotting is for protein. Question number 20. Uses of heparin. Heparin is used for osmotic fragility test, blood gas analysis, electrolyte estimation and karyotyping. Today we are winding up. The session is little tough but the questions are very important so you have to learn it well. We have discussed lot of questions in the previous videos so watch it from playlist and description box. Thank you.